Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. NVIDIA's Blackwell GPU is going to release havoc on the entire industry. So let's talk about it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So NVIDIA's keynote speech at Computex 2024 contained nothing about its next generation of GeForce graphics cards. So for the time being, we're left to browse through the usual sources of leaks and rumors to build a picture of what's coming. The latest of which suggests that the RTX 5090 will be using a 512-bit wide memory bus, but the rest will be the same as the current RTX 40 series. The source of said rumor is Copite 7 Kimi on X, who has a pretty good reputation for making accurate predictions and statements about future developments in GPUs. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button right now, right now, right now. So in a recent post, the leaker set down the memory configurations for the five Blackwell GPU variants expected to be launched later this year, though some of them may not be announced until 2025. First up is the GB202, right, which will undoubtedly be used in the RTX 5090 and a RAF of professional grade graphics cards. The biggest G GPUs always have the widest memory bus so that all those shaders can be kept busy with data. And in the case of the Blackwall Monster, uh, it's being claimed that it will sport a 512-bit wide memory bus and GDDR7 VRAM chips. If one pair that with Micron's slowest GDDR7 chips, which run at 28 MTS, you're looking at an aggregate bandwidth of 1.8 TBS or so, roughly 77% more bandwidth than the RTX 4090. Even if the RTX 5090 only sports a 384-bit bus, it would still have 33% more bandwidth thanks to the use of faster GDDR7, which is the RTX 4090 uses, 21 MTS, right? That's the GD. DR6X. So Copite uh, 7 Kimi suggests the other GPU variants remain unchanged concerning the memory bus width, though. The GB203 is 256 bits, the GB205 is 192 bits, and the bottom end, the GB206 and GB207, are both 128 bits. That's the same as the AD103, AD104, AD106, and AD107. However, the use of GGD, right, GWDR7 across most of the graphics cards that will use these GPUs should see a considerable uplift in bandwidth, right? It's worth noting that the width of a memory bus doesn't just impact VRAM bandwidth, it also determines how much VRAM can be added to the graphics card. At the moment, all of the Micron's GDDR7 modules are 32-bit, uh, wide and have densities of uh, 16 gigabytes or 8 gig gigabytes. So a 256-bit bus would top at, you know, 16 gigabytes. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.